Most often, people get lost in art history when we arrive at conceptual art. This is art. And this is art. But, is this? How did we go from classical paintings and abstract paintings, to conceptual artworks in the form of installations, presenting found objects, or no objects at all? Further, what is conceptual art? What are the main characteristics? And, as most might wonder, why is it art in the first place? In this article-based video, we will take on this controversial art movement, and present you the 25 artists who defined conceptual art. Let's start with the main question. What is conceptual art? Conceptual art is a historical art movement from the 1960s and 1970s in which the idea functions as the artwork itself, shifting the value and quality of the artwork from the physical object to the immaterial concept. It is clear to say the notion of the idea being the artwork itself has resulted in a revolution in how one can approach art. The term originated in the 1960s in the United States of America, as Fluxus artist Henry Flint first wrote about concept art in 1961, discussing art in which language is the main characteristic. This term would soon change to conceptual art courtesy of the iconic artist Saul Lewitt with his iconic articles, paragraphs on conceptual art from 1967, and sentences on conceptual art from 1969. Today, conceptual art is often mocked as a mad commercial gimmick of the art world. However, conceptual art originated in the early 1960s by questioning the art establishment and its commercial character. A new generation of artists criticized the art institutions and the ongoing commercialization of art as decoration for the wealthy. Doing so they started to create art in the form of special information most often presented with pictures or text. The material realization of the artwork became inferior to the information or concept, dematerializing art and distancing themselves from art as decoration. The following four characteristics of conceptual art are essential. First of all, the artwork is the idea, not the execution of the idea. The object is merely a vehicular medium to communicate the idea visually. As the emphasis is on the concept of the artwork, the material presence is often reduced to a minimum, resulting in a dematerialization of art. Secondly, conceptual art breaks open the definition of art. It frees the artist of the traditional conventions, the pretext of beauty and skill, and criticizes the establishment. With the arrival of cubism, surrealism and pure abstraction, similar questions were already being asked. For instance what makes an abstract painting good, and thus beautiful or well-painted? Once and for all, conceptual art frees art from the so-called tyranny of aestheticism. A third characteristic. Visually and materially, conceptual art is defined by the tradition of Marcel Duchamp and the ready-made, as well by the radical simplicity of minimal art, introducing uncommon materials and processes, or no materials at all. A fourth and final characteristic is conceptual art's self-conscious character. It creates art which is about art, criticizing the art establishment, and examining its very own reality and existence, under the influence of postmodern literature. In order to learn and understand any art movement, one must know the artists who defined this art movement. Therefore, we have presented a reasoned and complete overview, of the most important artist of the historical art movement of conceptual art. Feel free to let us know if we missed anyone in particular. Number 1. Vito Acconci. Vito Acconci, born in 1940 in the Bronx, New York, passed away in 2017 aged 77 in Manhattan. Acconci is one of the most influential video, performance and installation artists of his generation. Throughout his career, he bit himself, burned off his body hair, and much more. The American conceptual artist's oeuvre was characterized by ephemeral concepts, encompassing language, sexuality and bodily movement. His works always contained a sense of poetry or criticism. Moreover, audacity, wit, and provocation were his weapons of choice, pushing the boundaries radically of conceptual art. Number 2. Art and Language. Art and Language is a collaboration of artists who pioneered English conceptual art. The group was officially founded in 1968, questioning the critical assumptions of modern art as a practice, as well as modern art criticism and recent historiography. Michael Baldwin, David Bainbridge, Terry Atkinson and Harold Horrell founded Art and Language in the late 1960s. Besides producing exemplary works of conceptual art, the collective would also publish the highly influential art periodical, 
Art Language, The Journal of Conceptual Art. Number 3. John Baldessari. John Baldessari, born in 1931 in National City, California, passed away at the age of 88 in 2020 in Los Angeles. Baldessari was a true pioneer for conceptual art. He transformed popular culture and art historical iconography into authentic conceptual artworks. His works are marked by an idea-based practice, meditations on the image, language, and appropriation, encompassing all the main characteristics of conceptual art. Here is one of his most iconic works, throwing three balls in the air to get a straight line, best of 36 attempts. The title accurately describes the activity and context of the picture, which Baldessari found more important than particularities, depicted subjects or other visually distracting elements. Number 4. Robert Barry. Born in 1936 in New York, Robert Barry is an American artist, best known for his strongly dematerialized artworks. Since the 1960s, Barry uses invisible media for installation and performance artworks. He aims to transcend the limitations of materiality, by creating non-material artworks. For instance, the conceptual artist has used radio waves as his medium, or word lists, referring to the actual words as invisible things rather than the displayed frames showcasing the words, aiming to evoke a contemplative experience with the viewer, by manner of free association in the activity of interpreting his works. Number 5. Mel Bachner. Born in 1940 in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, Mel Bachner is an American artist living and working in New York City. Bachner is arguably best known for his colorful paintings of words. He pioneered conceptual art in the 1960s in New York, among the likes of Joseph Kosuth and Bruce Nauman. His 1966 show at the School of Visual Arts in New York, titled Working Drawings and Other Visible Things on Paper Not Necessarily Meant to Be Viewed as Art, is often seen as the first exhibition of conceptual art. He examines the relation between language, space, and color, resulting in his characteristic word paintings, and his approach to the gallery walls as the medium. Number 6. Alichiero Boetti. Alichiero Boetti was born in 1940 in Turin, Italy, and passed away in 1994 aged 53 in Rome. Boetti was a conceptual artist but also a member of the Arte Povera movement. His works are marked by the arrival of a renewed artistic language in the 1960s, in which the creative process was more important than the finished object. Boetti emphasizes on the conceptual meaning of the artwork, instead of focusing on its narrative or aesthetic qualities. Arguably, the Italian conceptual artist is best known for his colorful paintings with words and letters, reminiscent to the aforementioned Mel Bachner. Number 7. Marcel Brudeers. Marcel Brudeers, born in 1924 in Brussels, Belgium, passed away in 1976 in Cologne, Germany. The Belgian artist was in fact an unsuccessful poet who turned to the arrival of conceptual art, aiming to create satirical but poetic artworks. His works are marked by the use of ready-made such as eggshells, shells of mussels, chairs, plants, and much more. Brudeers used language to create a discrepancy between form and content, Doing so, he would create boundary-pushing artworks filled with humor and sharp criticism, encompassing sculpture, film, printmaking, books, and installation. Number 8. Stanley Brown. Born in 1935 in Paramaribo, Suriname, Stanley Brown is a conceptual artist who passed away in 2017 in Amsterdam, the Netherlands. It is fair to say Brown is a somewhat elusive artist, as are his artworks. He has refused to be interviewed or photographed throughout his illustrious career. This indicates Brown is shrouded in mystery, the individual, as well as the art. He was closely connected to performance art and fluxus. He was intrigued by abstraction and the absence of the artist, partly explaining his elusive character. He explored dematerialization and anonymity with a unique artistic body of works. Number 9. Daniel Buren. Born in 1938 in boulogne billancourt France, Daniel Buren is a contemporary artist living and working in Paris. The French conceptual artist focus on the crossroads of sculpture, installation and painting, by manner of creating actions or interventions. Daniel Buren launched himself onto the Paris art scene in the mid-1960s, strongly critiquing the artist establishment. Buren is internationally known for his iconic motif of vertical stripes. Marked by a distance of 8.75 cm, color stripes and white stripes alternate each other most often in an in-situ or public setting. 
Doing so, the French artist takes on the artwork's environment, but also emphasizes on the importance of the context or circumstances determining the artwork's nature. Number 10. Victor Bergen. Born in 1941 in Sheffield, England, Victor Bergen is a contemporary artist living and working in Paris. In the late 1960s, the British artist received recognition as a conceptual artist with a strong focus on photography. Whereas many conceptual artists from his generation were only interested in the concept and aimed to dematerialize their artworks, Bergen was interested in both the idea and the material qualities of the artwork. He took on photography in an innovative manner, resulting in photo text artworks, various prints, but also digital video and 3D models. Number 11. Hannah Darboven. Born in 1941 in München, the German conceptual artist Hannah Darboven passed away in Hamburg in 2009. Shortly after completing her studies in painting in Germany, Darboven moved to New York where she would establish herself as a key figure of conceptual art. Her works are marked by language, encompassing numbers, allowing her to examine time in a neutral language. She is best known for her works in which she showcases the passage of time with calendar-like works on paper. Number 12. Jan Dibitz. Born in 1941 in Weert, the Netherlands, Jan Dibitz is a conceptual artist strongly connected to minimal art, land art and the medium of photography. Arguably, he is best known for his photographic works, using various techniques such as collage, analog production and post-production effects. Dibitz is often inspired by architectural elements. Think of floors, ceilings, or windows, using them as a potential viewing point for a certain concept. A great example is his work from 1969, The Shadows at Conrad Fisher Gallery. Dibitz captures and examines the slowly shifting shadow in the gallery, as the daylight enters the room and the demarcation of the shadow evolves. Number 13. Hans-Peter Feldman. Born in 1941 in Dusseldorf, Hans-Peter Feldman is a German conceptual artist residing and working in Dusseldorf. One could describe Feldman as a compulsive collector of ephemera. He searches, collects, and appropriates everyday found imagery and implements them in his artistic practice. Feldman takes these found images and turns them into new assemblages with an aesthetic and conceptual foundation. The German artist does not describe himself as an artist. In fact, he goes against the grain when it comes to the art world. He creates unsigned, undated, or limitless editions, resisting the traditional conventions of the art world and its commercial character. Number 14. Dan Graham. Born in 1942 in Illinois, Dan Graham is one of the most important contemporary artists in the world, living and working in New York. He examines the symbiosis between architectural environments and their inhabitants. A great example can be found with his series Homes of America which was launched in the mid-1960s. His varied artistic practice takes form in various media, but also by curating and writing. Doing so, Graham strongly contributed to the development of conceptual art, but also of minimal art and critique art, rejecting the limits of the traditional white cube art gallery. Number 15. Hans Hacke. Born in 1936 in Cologne, Germany, Hans Hacke is a conceptual artist residing and working in New York City. Hacke is a true pioneer not only for conceptual art but also for kinetic art, environmental art, and critique art. His works are often site-specific, and challenge the viewer to engage, participate, or question invisible structures influencing the artwork, the viewer and society in general. Number 16. Jenny Holzer. Born in 1950 in Ohio, Jenny Holzer is an American artist best known for her multidisciplinary neo-conceptual works. Holzer incorporates various media in her installations, including marble carving, LED, billboards, printmaking, and more. Jenny Holzer's artworks are marked by feminism. She provokes a public debate with her challenging installations and public interventions. Doing so, she raises awareness for political inequality, examining power versus powerlessness, or violence versus vulnerability. Number 17. Douglas Hubler. Born in 1924 in Ann Arbor, Michigan, Douglas Hubler was an American conceptual artist, who passed away in 1997 in Truro, Massachusetts. By the late 1960s, Hubler abandoned painting and sculpture. He took on language, creating written statements in combination with photography, maps, or drawings. With these writings, he deconstructed the meaning of the visual information. 
Doing so, language becomes a system or a powerful tool in relation to visual art. Number 18. Ankawara. Born in 1933 in Kariu, Japan, Ankawara is a conceptual artist who passed away in 2014. The Japanese artist is best known for his iconic artwork titled, Today, a series of paintings depicting the date off that day. He always depicted the date in the language and dating conventions of the country in which they were created. The series started in 1966, and he continued the series until his death in 2014, encompassing almost five decades, exploring time and the documentation of time. Number 19. Joseph Kosuth. Born in 1945 in Toledo, Ohio, Joseph Kosuth is an American artist living and working between New York and London. Kosuth is arguably one of the most important figures for conceptual art. Since the 1960s, he pioneered conceptual and installation art, initiating language-based works and appropriation strategies. The key element is the role of language as a structural element for meaning within art. One of his most iconic artworks is the textbook example of conceptual art titled One in Three Chairs from 1965. He takes on the concept of a chair, showing a depiction of a chair, an actual chair, and the word chair and its definition by manner of text. Doing so, Kosuth eludes the Plato's ideas theory and its connection to the dominant structuralism in postmodern epistemology. Number 20. Piero Manzoni. Born in 1933 in Sancino, Italy, Piero Manzoni is a conceptual artist, who passed away at the age of just 29 in Milan in 1963. Manzoni was a true pioneer for conceptual art. He deconstructed the art world's conventions with his multimedia works. He satirized the art world's commercial character with sharp, witty and humorous artworks. Undoubtedly, Manzoni is best known for his provocative piece Merda d'Artista from 1961. Manzoni tinned his own excrements and declared them as limited edition works of art, selling them at the day price of gold, referring and mocking the artist literally defects gold. Number 21. Saul Lewitt. Born in 1928 in Hartford, Connecticut, Saul Lewitt is an American artist who passed away in 2007. Saul Lewitt was a key figure and pioneer for the emergence of minimal art and conceptual art in the late 1950s and early 1960s. Lewitt was interested in the concept or idea of the artwork, instead of the artwork itself. Doing so, his works are executed by others, with the artist's role being confined to the inventor or conceptor. He provided clear and concise instructions, which would become the standard for installation artworks up to this day. Furthermore, Saul Lewitt has contributed strongly to the development of conceptual art and minimalism with his writings, continuously challenging new thinking what art can be. When it comes to his artworks, he is best known for his structures in which he creates endless permutations of a shape, such as the cube, and is also internationally lauded for his unique wall drawings. Number 22. Gordon Mata Clark. Born in 1943 in New York, Gordon Mata Clark was an American artist, who passed away in 1978. He was a key figure in the downtown New York art scene in the 1970s. Mata Clark is best known for his radical approach, engaging directly with communities in an urban environment. He produced large-scale architectural interventions, transcending performance art, conceptual art, process art, and land art. Number 23. Bruce Nauman. Born in 1941 in Fort Wayne, Indiana, Bruce Nauman is an American artist and one of the most important artists of the contemporary era. He is best known for his experimental works and interdisciplinary approach, using various media. Bruce Nauman questions the human experience. He challenges conventions and examines new methodologies to create art and meaning. His artistic practice is occupied with existential dichotomies. Think of life versus death, love versus hate, pleasure versus pain, and so on. He uses the body as the material. A key element throughout his works is the relationship between image, language, art, and the viewer. Number 24. Adrian Piper. Born in 1948 in New York City, Adrian Piper is an American conceptual artist living and working in Berlin, Germany. She fuses personal experiences, often marked by political issues, pushing her audience to rethink conventions concerning gender, class, or race. Her performances in the late 1960s resulted in a kick-started career, lauded for her audacity and interactivity. Number 25. Lawrence Weiner. 
Born in 1942 in the Bronx, New York, Lawrence Weiner is an American conceptual artist who lived and worked between New York City and Amsterdam, before he passed away in 2021. Lawrence Weiner is the ideal artist to conclude this list, as he was one of the key figures of the conceptual art scene in the late 1960s, and is one of the most important artists of his generation. Weiner redefined the status of the artist. He questioned the conventions of objecthood in relation to the producer, the artist, and its beholder, the viewer. He uses language as his medium, using capital letters in his structures, graphic lines and shapes. What is your view on conceptual art, or who did we miss out on in our list? Feel free to let us know. If you enjoyed our video, please consider subscribing for more contemporary art. Thank you for tuning in, and see you soon.